Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. As you guys can see from the title, today we are doing my 2020 makeup empties. I have saved them throughout the entire year. You guys will see in the video there's one item I can't find, um, but I do talk about that when I get to that category. Before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about what I am wearing today. For the 365 Days of Eyeshadow Challenge, I have chosen to wear today the Studio Makeup Endurance Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Gold. This is it right here, and like every other video, I am wearing it on the inner half of my eyelids. This is a beautiful shade. And then I'm wearing um, my Modern Renaissance palette, since it is my Pan That palette. And of course, on that, on the outer half, I do have the shade Noir from my Sultry palette. Um, and then for my lips, for the 365 Days of Lippies, I chose this Trustique um, pen. This is the Prime and Color Lip Glaze. I did get this in a BoxyCharm. This isn't something I chose out for myself. I was a little bit nervous to wear it when I saw the color, but it's a lot more sheer than I thought it would be. I am wearing it with the primer that's down here in the base of it. And then the color itself looks really, really dark, but it goes on quite sheer, which is really surprising. So that's all I'm wearing is just the primer and this color on my lips, and I really like this. I'm glad I did get this um, in my BoxyCharm so that I could try out this brand, try out this formula. I will say you do not get a lot of product in this, and I do think that this is a pretty expensive product. So for what that's worth, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. So, um, there are a couple categories that I noticed other people putting in their year-long empties that I didn't. So I would love to hear you guys sound off on the comments if you guys would like me to hold on to these items for my 2020 empties. Um, one is nail polish and the other one is perfume. I didn't keep any perfume empties as I finished them. I tossed them. But nail polishes, I did hold on to the four empties I have. There are these OPI ones right here. It was a little um, sample little box of <laughs> of four colors that I got a clear top coat and then three um, colored shades um, I held on to those because I do want to recycle them properly I know that there's a brand out there that does take empty perfume bottles I'm sorry nail polish bottles if you guys know which company that is let me know in the comments below as well because I do want to recycle these properly and not just toss them in the landfill so now, before I keep rambling some more, let's go ahead and get started with uh, my makeup empties. The first category I have for you guys are setting sprays. I was able to finish up 13 of them. All five of these are from Morphe. I do have one more that has like five uses left, so um, that one will be one of my first empties for 2021, but I did use up these five from Morphe. I do really enjoy how fine the mist is. This one from Caudalie was just okay. There was nothing special about it. I finished up three MAC Prep and Primes and a NYX Matte Finish uh, Setting Powder. Uh, sorry, Setting Spray. And then these two are little tiny samples of the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. And this one is a little bit, a little Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. These are all of my lashes and my lash glues. Um, I think that I kept all of them throughout the year. But I have uh, two of these uh, Duo Dark Tone Lash Glues. I did get rid of these because I did get old, but I did use up the grand majority of these. I do like it. Currently, I'm working on the House of Lashes one, so I've been uh, enjoying that one as well. I have a pair of Natasha Denona's. This one, the band was very uncomfortable. Lily Lashes were great. Love the Glam Light. These ones, I don't remember what brand they are from. It doesn't say. And these are Glamnetics, and these, like I told you guys before, I'm trying to work these out of my stash because I'm allergic to one of the items in the magnetic liner that helps these lashes work. These are all of the blushes and highlighters I finished off over this past year. The first one was this little sample from Too Faced. This is from their Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo and Apricot in the Act. Half of it was a highlighter and half of it was blush, and I did crush up the highlighter and put it in a lotion, and I did finish the blush. And then I did work on this NARS uh, blush, I guess. Um, this is their, the multiple in the shade Orgasm. I did work on this. I'm not really a big fan of cream highlighters or cream blushes, so I used that one up, and I'm happy to get that gone. Now for highlighters. I did use up one highlighter. This was Becca in the shade Vanilla Quartz. That one is completely gone. I do have two liquid uh, highlighters that I used up, the Iconic London in the shade Original, 
and the cover effects glitter drops not sure what the shade name is so I used up these two mixed them in lotions and then I had three cream highlighters that I finished these two were from Oh My Brow, and this one is from Ulta Beauty. Again, these are not my favorite, so I wouldn't be repurchasing any of those. These are all of the powders that I finished. I had two pressed powders that I finished, and I had nine loose powders. I finished up this Neutrogena powder. Yeah, this is their oil-free pressed powder in Fair. And I finished off a sample of this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores pressed powder. I absolutely love this, and I did go out and buy a full size. This is the Becca, this is the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I love this. I, I know some people don't like that wet feeling and the fact that it goes away so quickly, but I really enjoyed this. I did buy another one. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in Fair uh, Light 10. The MAC Prep and Prime. This is their translucent or transparent finishing powder. I did not like this one at all. This is a small one of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Two from Bare Minerals. This one, smaller one from Becca. This is their regular setting powder. It's not this um, one that feels wet. And then one from Hourglass and one from Flower Beauty. I did, like I say, enjoy them, but just not this one. The rest of them were all good. They worked great on my uh, skin. These are the face palettes and the bronzer that I finished up. I finished off one bronzer. This was the little sample of the Hula bronzer. I did like the formula. It was just a little bit too dark for me. And then I finished off two face palettes. This was a Galactic Skin Glow in Moonlight. This was a cream highlighter and blush. I did use those up. Again, I won't be repurchasing that. And then Naked Cosmetics. This was a highlighter palette. It's a holographic highlighter collection. And I did use all of these up in lotions. I did finish up nine mascaras and one of the mascara primers. This primer was from the L'Oreal. It's their Voluminous Primer Base. It's okay. I don't really feel like my lashes need a primer, so I used up the sample and then I didn't, I'm not going to be replacing it. I did have one full-size mascara and the other eight are sample sizes. This is the Almay One Coat Multi-Benefit. This is the one that I used for years and years and... Um, then I stopped using it and was working on other stuff and I started using it again. It's not as good as I remember it, so um, I won't be getting that. Um, these two are from Maybelline. They're okay. I wasn't really happy with any of these. I'm still looking for my one mascara that I absolutely love. I do have lots in my collection that I'll be trying, but yeah, I wasn't too happy with any of these. These were Sephora. These two were the Urban Decay Perversion. These did absolutely nothing for my lashes. This is Bare Minerals Lash Topia. Tarte uh, Lights Camera Lashes, is that what it's called? And then the NARS Climax. It was just okay. These are the six brow products that I finished. Two of them were brow gels and four of them were pencils. This one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a sample. I did really enjoy this one. This one is from Benefit. I don't remember the name. Everything is completely worn off. I just know that I had shade number six. This worked really well as well. I loved all of these pencils. Um, the MAC one was okay. This one was probably a closer match to my color of my brows than any of the others. It was good. It was a little bit more dry. I do prefer the ABH Brow Wizzes. I had one in dark brown. Oh, two of them in dark brown. And then this one is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in 4.5. These are all of my eyeliners. Probably one of the highlights of something I finished this year is this one right here. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Fluid Line in Black Track. I completely finished this one. I had two um, pens, eyeliner pens, I guess you could call it. One was from Maybelline. The other one was the IT Superhero one. Love the IT Superhero one. I prefer that one over the Maybelline one. And then I finished off six pencils. This one is from ColourPop. This is from MAC, this is from MAC, these were okay. Um, this one kept drying and breaking, but I have other one creme gel liners from ColourPop that work fantastic, so I still do love them and I will continue to purchase them. This is a 24-7 pencil from Urban Decay, absolutely love this one. I don't even know what color it is. I do have it on a spreadsheet, but love this one, I will always repurchase those. And then I think both of these are Maybelline, nope, this one says Ulta and this one is a Maybelline. These are all of my primers. I did finish off two eye primers and 22 face primers. The two eye primers were these little samples from Too Faced. This is their 
glitter glue glitter shadow primer these worked really well um, I am currently working on my NYX one and that one works just as well um, I do have five from Smashbox love this this one is VDL Illumilayer prior it was just okay this is a Farsali skin tune blur primer I love this one the first aid beauty uh, coconut skin smoothing primer it was just okay um, these two I did not like from Maybelline their master prime it was just like it was just a moisturizer is all it was these two samples from Becca this is the first light priming filter and the backlight priming filter these both worked really well the Bobbi Brown one worked really well. Um, I did enjoy this one. It does have a bit of a perfume smell to it. The Too Faced Hangover uh, Primer is just okay. Um, again, it's more of a moisturizer, kind of like the Maybelline ones. I did enjoy this Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. The Professional is okay. Um, the Philosophy Anti-Wrinkle Miracle Worker Primer, I think I like that one. I don't quite remember. I did enjoy the Bare Minerals Primetime Original Foundation Primer. The Becca Skin Love, I think this one was okay. It doesn't really stand out. This one doesn't either. The Jane Iredell Smooth Affair and a Dr. Brandt Pore Refiner Primer. I don't really remember that one either. This is a couple of different categories. I did finish off two of the foundation adjusters. These are the e.l.f. Mix to Match Adjuster in white. Uh, I did really enjoy these. They work great for lightening up a foundation. This is a Donesic Myrix cream cover in TW. Again, it was a white one, and I did use that to mix with foundations. And then I do have 17 foundations, but as you guys can see, most of them are samples. These four from Bare Minerals, these worked really well. The two Too Faced ones and the Bounce one, I had to mix it with so much of the e.l.f. adjuster, it's hard to tell if I like the formula because I couldn't determine which was the foundation from here or if it was the e.l.f. I just needed to get those probably in my right color and then I could have given you guys a review on those. These two were samples of Makeup Forever. They were okay. This one was Becca again. Wrong shade, way too dark. Same with the Makeup Forever. Same with the Estee Lauder. I had to mix all of these. This one from Clinique, again, too dark, and I did mix this one as well. This one does work really well at the gym. Um, I did wear this and go to the gym, and it stays put. The Flower Beauty Light Illusion, do really love this one. I just wish their shade range was more inclusive. I finished off two from L'Oreal, their infallible 24-hour freshwear foundations. This is a great formula. And then I finished off a MAC one. Again, I did have to adjust that one. These are the 11 concealers that I finished off this past year. These three are from Jeffree Star. Uh, this white one, again, foundation mixer. Um, I did enjoy this formula. You just get so little for the money, and I don't support his brand anymore. These two from Maybelline, the Instant Age Rewind. I went through these super quick. These L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. I went through these really fast. Apparently, I use a lot of concealer. I go through it pretty quickly. And this one was from Morphe. Again, I used it as a foundation mixer. This one was from Naked Skin uh, from Urban Decay, and I did really enjoy that one. This was a sample of Nude Sticks in Nude 3. This one was not my correct shade, but I did uh, find a way to use it. And this is the Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. I put it in here with my concealers. This is for if you have red spots, which I don't. I used it up. Not something that I would ever buy again. These are the eyeshadows I finished up. I did finish up one liquid eyeshadow. This is the Stila Glitter and Glow in Kitten Karma. I finished off five MAC singles. I had two vanilla, one was soft brown, one was floof, it was kind of a cream shimmery shadow, and the other one was texture, which was a, um, a deep tone brown. Um, these don't count my total, but I thought I'd show you the other four eyeshadows that I did finish. This is from the NYX and uh, Ulta collection. I did finish off a of vanilla shade and I did finish off three in the Too Faced Sugar Cookie Palette. You guys can see those right here. And the last category is my biggest. This is all of the lip products I have used up over this year. I did finish off three lip pencils. This one was from Be Bella Cosmetics. It was terrible. Didn't really like this one from IT. And then this is the ColourPop one. Um, in BFF3. Absolutely love this one. I finished off two lip scrubs. The e.l.f. one was terrible. I did not like this one. 
Too Faced Peach Lip Scrub. As you guys know, if you guys saw my Partners in Cream Project Pan, this one lasted forever. I finished off seven lip balms. Three of them were like chapsticks. These were okay. The Fresh, um, these are their lip uh, tinted lip treatments. These are great, super expensive for the price, uh, for the amount of product you get. They melt super easy. They feel amazing on the lips, but um, they're also not cruelty free. So I'm not, I would not purchase those. The EOS Lip Balm, I did not really like this one. I don't like the formula at all. And this one was First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Lip Therapy. It was okay. It was good. Uh, that's about all I can say on that one. For lip glosses, I finished off 16. This was NARS in the shade Orgasm. I finished off two Buxoms. Love the Buxom. ColourPop So Juicy one. Love these as well. Finished off two of the Too Faced ones. Don't like these because you can feel the glitters. One, two, three, four, five, six of these guys are all from Morphe. Uh, they're okay. The MAC lip glasses, I don't like that formula at all. And this is one of the ColourPops, I want to say Ultra Glossy Lips. I think all the writing wore off, so I did enjoy that one as well. I finished seven liquid lipsticks, as you guys can see, they're all small, and I am missing one. I don't know which one I am missing. This is Buxom, this is Wine Me, this is the Bobbi Brown one. This was fantastic, it's just not cruelty free. Finished off a Jeffree Star one, this one dried up. Love this one from Julep. The NARS one, this is so liquidy, I don't really like the formula. And then the Ulta Beauty Velvet MAC Liquid Lipstick, not my favorite. As for lipsticks themselves, I did finish off, I do have 21 written, but as I've told you guys, I count every single sample as one. I did finish off this one from Bite Beauty. This one is Chai. I absolutely love this one. Fantastic color. This one is from Jane Iredale. This is their Lip and Cheek Stain. Did not like this one. It was pink in color, but then when you put it on, it went hot pink. Don't really like that. And then 19 lipstick samples. These four were from Sephora. These three are from MAC. And these 12 are from NARS. And I wouldn't buy any of these in the full size. Any of these 19 samples. However, I did work them all out of my collection over this past year. Typically when I film these projects, I film them on my ottoman and I tried to fit every one of these products on my ottoman and they barely fit. If I bump it, stuff is going to be falling off the edge. So I do need to lift my camera up so that you guys can see everything that is sitting on here and balancing. So that is my yearly empties. Now that you guys have seen everything, it is time to talk numbers. I know lots of you guys out there love numbers just as much as I do, so I thought I would share those with you. Now, I didn't keep any of my skin care empties, as you guys know, but I do still have the totals. Um, over the entire year, I used up 211 skin care empties, and the total value for that is $2,000. $266.54. Um, I do calculate the value out of all of my samples and everything like that. Um, so that is the number for my skincare empties. For makeup empties, I have used up a total of 186 items. Now, I did count my face palettes as one item. I don't count it as, you know, either two pans or six pans. I just count it as one item. So 186 makeup empties and the total for my makeup empties is $1,730.50. So everything together, I finished up $3,997.04. I was so close to 4,000. I didn't have a goal. This is my first year panning. I just wanted to see what I could do. So I do have a couple of other numbers to share with you guys. Um, like I said, 211 skincare empties, 186 makeup empties, so a total of 397 items I finished over this past year. I did also keep track of my non-cruelty free use up. I used up 101 non-cruelty free makeup items, 106 non-cruelty free skincare items, so 207 total of the items that I used up were non-cruelty free. That's 207 
out of 397. So more than half of what I used up was non-cruelty free. As you guys can tell, I've literally been focusing on those numbers. So that is my entire empties. I hope that um, you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is the first time doing it. Uh, let me know if you guys like the way I did it. If you want to see any changes, um, I only saw um, one other year long makeup empties before I filmed this. I haven't really watched a lot of them. Well, I did watch them, but they were a year ago. So I don't quite remember how other people do their makeup empties. So let me know if you guys like this format. Also, let me know if you guys want me to start keeping my perfume empties and my nail polish empties. Assuming I have some nail polish empties, that's the hardest category. <laughs> So just let me know all of that information down below. If you guys enjoy lots of project panning content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And thank you so much for stopping by.